how do you know that you are the disciple of Christ if you really experience the freedom of god you are the disciples of christ dear friends in christ love today i would like to reflect with you the gospel of saint john chapter 8 verses 31 to 42 This passage focuses on the requirements to become the sons and daughters of God. Today's passage is narrated in the form of a debate or argument. The very first verse of today's gospel tells us that Jesus was speaking to the Jews who believed in him. Therefore the first requirement to become the sons and daughters of God is to believe in Christ. Jesus could carry out his dialogue with the Jews only because they believed in him and therefore they were ready to listen to him. Jesus continues to tell the Jews in today's gospel that if you continue in my word you will become truly my disciples to become disciples of christ you have to believe and live in the word that is jesus christ how do you know that you are the disciple of christ if you really experience the freedom of god you are the disciples of Christ therefore the second requirement to become the sons and daughters of god is to become his disciples jesus cautions today do not sin if you commit sin you are a slave to sin therefore you will not experience the freedom of the sons and daughters of god if you are confident enough to say that you are disciples you are the sons and daughters of god never commit a sin today 26th of january the republic day of india the republic is always connected with the freedom the citizens of india are no more slaves to any monarch or any person they enjoy the freedom to become and to elect their own governments yes dear friends let us experience and enjoy the advantages of the true sons and daughters of god by believing in christ jesus and becoming his true disciples in order to enjoy the advantages of the sons and daughters of god we have to cast off all the sins from our lives may christ jesus redeem us from all the slavery of sin amen